Well, we really couldn't have asked for a better Memorial Day in terms of the weather. We've certainly earned it after all the rainfall, the severe weather that we dealt with over the last several days. And now that rainfall is really piled up. Look at over the last four days across the tri-state. Now these numbers are at Bowling Green where the official uh, measurements are taken. Over three inches of rainfall. You see Saturday well over an inch, Sunday about the same thing, mixing in all of that, uh, those uh, super cellular storms that we were dealing with. And when you broaden it out, we have had over seven inches of rainfall just this month alone. For the year, we're just about to two feet and we're running a surplus now of just about two inches above average in terms of rainfall. Thankfully, we are in a nice dry stretch uh, here across uh, the tri-state area over the next several days, and that does include today. This afternoon, if you uh, have plans, any outdoor plans, maybe you're visiting your local cemetery to pay your respects to some fallen soldiers, nothing to worry about. Maybe you're having family and friends over, firing up the grill. Uh, should be an absolutely great day for it. Now that this front has passed us, it's allowed cooler, more stable, and less humid air to make its way into the tri-state. Just what the doctor ordered, which is great news. By tomorrow morning, high pressure firmly in control off to the southwest over the Ozarks. It's going to keep our weather very pleasant over the next several days. So you can see with Futurecast looking like we're in great shape. If you're taking the boat out to Kentucky Lake, uh, nothing to worry about here. And the weather's very nice, as we mentioned earlier, for those weather service storm survey crews to be out doing their job uh, to assess all the damage from the storms. Maybe a weak boundary early tomorrow morning, additional uptick in some clouds, uh, but that's about it. You see rest of the afternoon, lower 80s, very comfortable tonight as we fall to right around 60 degrees. We should be nice and dry. Everybody here, uh, maybe a few upper 50s and lower 60s. And you look at this extended forecast for this time of the year, we really couldn't ask for it to be any better with temperatures here right around where we should be upper 70s, lower 80s, lots of sunshine, no rain chances, uh, absolutely great uh, shortened work week. And then we watch next weekend as those uh, rain and storm chances start to tick up a little higher, but nothing right now that's too concerning.